My name is Kyle from the United States. And I'm Daniel from Russia. I wrote and directed this film called Chloe in the Afternoon. And I filmed it as a DP. Enjoy. lips a little bit, uh-huh, like that, but like not part them, you know? Why can't you just do ones we already have? My love, when you speak, I can see your teeth. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's gonna like this. Do it again. Give me girl next door. Walk back, do it again. Something more classic, Sophia Lauren. And then you're gonna make that face. What do you want me to do? I've done this million times and no one ever complained. Look, you have to be flawless for this meeting. Who is this guy, the Pope? He's not the Pope, but he's a referral. And he's been looking from house to house for the right girl, and your name's gotten around. Thank you. And if we get this job, we can name the price we want. Sounds like a bullshit. It's not bullshit. Listen, we can both stop doing this. But, but I like doing this. Well, from my experience, the girls who say- Okay, okay, let's keep going. Sophie Lorraine. My love. Here's the address to meet him. He has your pictures. He'll find you there. You're gonna do great. And how will I know he wants to move forward? I guess we'll both find out. Hi. How are you? So interesting. Um, and what was I doing? How to say it? Ah, to meet you. I'm sorry, ma'am.
Excuse me, is this place taken? Sorry to bother you. Were you in late coming this summer? Chloe, you don't have to say anything. Just listen to me. If at any time you want to get up and leave, I wouldn't follow you, I promise. There was a girl. She had a mother and she had a father. They had their own world. A house, a dog, weddings, funerals, money. Everything and everyone had its place. The girl had her place too. But from her place she watched the others. She watched them smile and laugh and make motions with their mouths. As she grew up, she kept watching. She watched them, but she couldn't feel them. She detected them, but she couldn't sense them. Because the space between them was empty. The space was empty because something was missing. So one day the girl asked, What's missing? It just came out of her mouth. They didn't understand what she said, but they understood the way she said it. They told the girl's story. About a sister. They said she died. The girl accepted this at first, but then she started to have dreams. She dreamt about a girl not much older than she was. She dreamt about the way she looked, the way she sounded, and whether she watched the others the way she had watched them. The dreams didn't stop, so the girl asked again, What's missing? They confessed that the sister didn't die. They said that one day the sister just got up and left. Or did they just give her away? They couldn't say or wouldn't know how. The girl didn't know. She was happy that the sister might be alive. But then, as she watched it some more, she wasn't sure what she should feel. She heard rumors about what became of the sister, what she did. She didn't believe them, but the dream stopped. So the girl looked for her sister. She followed the rumors to her sister's world. She watched it, other people and felt herself getting closer. But the kinds of people in her sister's world were not the kinds of people you could get close to. The space between these people was filled with something else. So the girl did what she thought her sister did. She became someone else. She tried to make contact. She got closer. She asked for a meeting. She didn't think it would work, but ну вот я здесь. Это все еще кажется сном, но ты настоящая. И ты здесь.